Wow, this is super exciting. This is quite the drink. Yeah, proxies. They are not a dealcoholized wine for once. Yeah. <laughs> And this is made with some premium ingredients. We have strawberry, rhubarb, hibiscus, apple, Sichuan, peppercorn, lemon, verbena, verjus, which is a, um, it's when they harvest green grapes early in the season to give a nice flavor. And then silver needle, white tea. They really know their ingredients and this is super exciting. I'm very hopeful for this one. We'll, we'll see. This is supposed to be similar to a rosé. This is dry January now. Happy 2023. Fresh start. Fresh start. Hopefully some of you are finding really great options to try out for this month. And if not, I suggest Boisson. Uh, you can go to their bottle shop in San Francisco or in New York or in LA. I'm a little worried that our expectations are on the higher end. That looks pretty. That's really pretty. I'm going to have to say tricky to open. Like that is not a wax seal. It appears to be some kind of plastic and the cork is a little tough to get out, but who cares? All right. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The first thing I notice is sweet, a little bit of tang. Yeah, the, a little bit of vinegar. A That's bit of vinegar. the rhubarb vinegar that they put in there. A, definitely a strawberry. I'm definitely tasting strawberry. There are um, a lot of flavors going on there, mm -hmm. as <laughs> there should be, because hey, little, it's a complex brew. A little tingly on the tongue. Definitely sweeter than I expected. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be a little less sugar. I'm curious how many grams of sugar. So 13 grams of sugar. There are three ser per serving. There are three servings in here. If you're looking to cut back on your sugar intake, this might not be the drink for you, but I think it's really tasty. I bet if you mix it with a non-alcoholic sparkling wine, it would really open up that flavor a little bit more. When I was on a recent trip up to North Dakota, I picked up this really great strawberry rhubarb shrub, and you definitely have to dilute it with some soda water. I don't know. This reminds me of it. It's not quite as intense though, but mm -hmm. it is pretty intense. Something's making me just want to sit and enjoy it and drink it. Like it's complex enough to... Yeah, I didn't enjoy it with the cheese though. Let me try it with something sweeter. Oh, it works good with the gingerbread cookie. Uh-huh. The apple, it's working out pretty well too. Mm. It's more of a dessert after yeah. dinner. Sip. Fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know that this would be something uh, that I'd want to have with a meal. Mm -mm. It's too sweet. It's nice, A for effort on presentation and everything else. Like the bottle's beautiful, the, mm -hmm. the obviously a lot of attention went into making this fabulous concoction. Topo. Just a little, just a... Just a little Topo Chico. Mm. Okay, that helps me with the sugar content. Yeah, you know, this is a, a beverage that you'd want to have probably for a special occasion, given its price point is 28 What's Yeah, that? it yeah. is. But if you're cutting it down with some soda water, it'll go a lot longer. Um, yeah, I don't know when I would purchase this again, honestly. I enjoy it. It's very sweet to me. It has a lot of interesting flavors, but... I don't know yeah. when I would say, yeah, I don't know when I would reach for it. And there are a lot of options out there. I want to feel like this is a really sophisticated drink because it's got fabulous like brewing that's gone into it. But I'm missing that magic. 
don't know. It could like be that we've, we've tried too many. <laughs> we've tried too many other wines today that it may just not be standing out in our mind. I don't know. Well, yeah, strawberry rhubarb for me is one of my favorite combinations, mm. and I'm not really picking up on that. I did not get any peppercorn. I yeah. think that's where I'm going. Where's my little bit of heat, heat or yeah. a little bit of spice? Because to me, it's more floral, more fruity, and more sweet than anything. I'm not even really getting hibiscus. Drinkability, seven. It's good. I think as an option where it's not a de-alcoholized wine, I think that's great. Yeah. It's, it's specifically its own kind of brew. But on the other hand, for 28 bucks, mm -hmm. you could get a nice bottle of Optimist or something else. True. <laughs> we'll see if we come back to this at some point in the I, future. I don't they know have we will. A, well, maybe not this particular one, but they do have other offerings on their site. So we will be reviewing more than just this one. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So... Happy New Year. Hope you guys have a have a great dry January mm -hmm. and good luck to you sticking to your commitment. Yep. Cheers. Cheers.